So do you, you don't we change start note, together, no? do you? So um, the second so, bar of okay. six. No, I don't change note. So I do. So I'll try and show that, and then because okay. it's quite um, a bit. The relationship that we first understand with performers is based on a almost on a favor basis. Would you be so kind as to maybe perhaps one day look at my music? In this concert, I felt. Um, a reversal, not a reversal, a, a sort of balancing of, of that relationship in that, that the commitment and the interest in the project uh, coming from the players was almost overwhelming. To me, it was, it was a very emotional and uh, really moving experience in that sense. I feel um, that it's a big deal that, that they are traveling from you know the various places that they live on their own, at their own expenses just to put these concerts together. Um, and as it turns out, they are even, they're even getting to the point of, of that they, are, they have told me that they feel that, they feel that they're um, taking this as a free ride and that they should be uh, collaborating more to the production of the events, which I think, to me, it's, I, I can't even process that. It's, it's, uh, and it, I mean, even though I know reasonably that it makes a lot of sense, uh, I guess emotionally I'm predisposed to, to think of it in terms of uh, favor still even though I call it collaboration.
turning these into your Eastern European grandmother. Who? Who no. Who always kept going with the term and to you know, perfect. So striving for perfection. Yes, yeah, striving for perfection. Do you know what she used to say? There is room in the world for fat women. <laughs> I, I believe that, that, that there's a way in which tape music and uh, instrumental music can help each other. There's, there's an, uh, uh, a crowd or a, a potential crowd of, of people that are used to listening to music um, through speakers, be it live or not. And I think that in a way, I mean, this is, I guess this is one of a few reasons, uh, a way to, to, to bridge that gap is to, to have both uh, things uh, embedded somewhat into the program. Separate from that, and, and I guess somewhat contradictorily, I do think that, that one can experience tape music and instrumental music in a relatively similar way. I mean, there is, there is basic and obvious differences. The, one, the, the fact that there isn't anybody performing on stage is, is, is quite, the, uh, quite a big deal and does define the listening experience. But further from that, really, it's the elements that conform it are, are, are the same. La, la, lo, lo primero que es evidente yendo tu, tu obra es que es, eh, hay una economía de materiales eh, bastante radical en realidad, eh, a, a, primera, a primera vista o a primera vida. ¿no? Una vez que, que la miras más para adentro hay, hay una, una gama de colores y de coloraciones y de, 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 de implementación de esas ideas que da para una variedad mucho, mucho más eh, grande de la que semeja en la primera instancia. Sí. Esta hora la pensé, cuando uno tiene un, o prende y apaga el, la luz, ¿no? ¿Cómo se llama eso? El switch. El switch. Eh, está el on y el off. Y en el medio puede haber esa vibración de, de energía eléctrica que genera un ruido. Bueno, la obra está constituida de on, off y todo el final es esa vibración del medio. Digamos, y fue así, digamos, es el pasaje de un punto on el 1 al 0 con una continuidad eh, y después es de tener atascado en el claro.
Totally, because being closer to it, I should actually be more judgmental. This works. It was Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>